Hi friends, now doing this, after doing the western Himalayas in the terms of map pointing, let us study the eastern Himalayas only in the terms of map pointing. And this is just a revision because we have already done what are the important ranges of the west, eastern Himalayas. Now if you just revise with me, what are these important ranges? They consist of Dafla, Miri, Abhor, Mishmi, from north to south. After that, Himalayas take sudden southward bend. to form Patkai mountains. What are this? The Dafla, Miri, Abhor and Mishmi are the part of Shivalik ranges in the state of Arunachal Pradesh. We have done this. Again repeat with me. Dafla, Miri, Abhor, Mishmi. D-M-A-M. District Magistrate, Assistant Magistrate. Whatever the means you can Remember, try to remember this. From south to north, they are Dafla, Miri, Abhur and Vishmi. And then the eastern Himalayas, out of which Patkai Hills, then followed by Naga Hills. Followed by Naga Hills, then Manipur Hills. And then Mizo Hills. Mizo Hills. So, these are the important map based question of the eastern Himalayas. Dafla, Meri, Abhor and Mishmi. What are this? These are the name of Shiva lakes in the state of Arunachal Pradesh and then Patkai, Naga, Manipur and Mizo Hills. So, these are the important hills in this region. Now, if you if you if we revise, we have already revised one small thing here. What is the highest peak of the Naga Hills? Mount Saramati. In the state of obviously Nagaland. What is the highest peak of Mizo Hills? There is Blue Mountain. Is the Blue Mountain. And what are the names? of other name of Mizo Hills, it is Rush, Lushai Hills. This is the Lushai Hills. So this is all about the Himalayas. But again as I say, integrated approach, I keep on saying to you the integrated approach. Integrated approach means UPSC may not restrict itself only to the to the questions on the peninsular plateau, on the questions on the Himalayas. So if they will ask you the other hills here this is Garo Hills, Khasi Hills and Jaintya Hills. So they consist of Garo, Khasi and the Jaintya Hill system. I will write it here. and Garo Khasi and Jaintia Hill System. After that, we have Barel Range, we have Rengma Range, we have Bareil Range and Rengma Range in this region. Barel range and Rengma hills in this region. They are also known as Mikir hills system. So now why I am asking you, why did I draw this in blue color rather than in the red color, rather than in the red color because this blue color that is the Garo Khasi and Jaintia, Barel and Rengma, they are an extension of blue color. This all blue color is an extension of Peninsular Plateau region. The blue color is an extension of a peninsular plateau region, while the red color 
are the part of Himalayan ranges. How they are in extension of a peninsular plateau region? Have some patience. You will soon learn it in the geology of the or physical. That is the next part. That is the peninsular plateau. Now this is all about the Himalayas. Right from the start of the Himalayas, importance of the Himalayas, the river system in the Himalayas, I will do it separately and the map pointing of the Himalayas. South to north, Mizo, Manipur, Naga, Patkai. The other potential question, south to north, Dafla, Miri, Abhur and Mishri or Barel, Rengma, Dafla, Miri, Abhur and Mishmi. So draw this diagram in your notebook or on the paper and stick it on your study table or revise it till it, the time it gets in your head. One more small thing is where is Cherapunji located? The area which receives the highest rainfall in the world, where it is located? You will tell me it is located in the northeast. In the northeast below which hills? Below Garo hills, below Khasi hills or below Jaintya hills? Wait for that answer in the peninsula. So till the time we meet again, thank you very much.